Hey guys, it's Ryan Bridge, the Bugman, and I'm taking you on another cool adventure today. And look, I have Polyphemus silk moth caterpillars that are emerging from eggs that I pulled from a female that I actually hatched from a cocoon, placed outside, attracted males, she mated, and now I've got these cool eggs, and now they're hatching. That's the process, man. This is how easy this is to do. Most people I don't think really quite understand. Sleeves are on the trees, and I will be placing caterpillars into these sleeves in hopes of getting a nice big brood of Polyphemus eventually. Now, I'm only gonna put two sleeves at first, I think. I may add a third one right up here somewhere. Uh, that's a pretty good branch right there. So I may do three sleeves at first and separate these out a little bit more. I want to wait and see how this looks when I get the caterpillars in. But I do need to separate them out. And then about every third day, I got to come out here and add more sleeves. And grow more caterpillars. Okay, guys. Hey, it's uh, Ryan Bridge Bugman. And I'm following up from the caterpillars that I put on the trees two and a half weeks ago and we're now back out. What I've done is I've actually switched out those bags. They are now larger bags and I wanna give you an idea how fast these things went in just two and a half-ish weeks. I got a bag up here. I went to these larger white bags. I don't like to do this usually because the neighbors get to have to look at this stuff and it looks pretty terrible out here, but I know what's there and that's what counts to me. Check this out. Here's a small white bag that I laid in. That's got some brand new fresh caterpillars in there that have uh, gone into like second-ish, going into almost third instar. And then I've got this huge sleeve right here that's basically just folded over and then I closed pin it off to secure it right there. And what's in here are some really nice big juicy caterpillars i'm gonna pop this a little further i opened this up just to see what it looked like and there i got caterpillars wandering all over the place check this out let me switch this around for you easier for you to see these are the same caterpillars that i put in the trees a few weeks ago and they're huge by comparison now they're gonna get a lot bigger but i just want to show you how fast these things grow Jeez, look at some of these guys are so beefy. This is cool. Look at those guys. Nice, big, healthy, beefy, fat caterpillars. And this whole bag, look at this, man. This bag has been cleaned off. And that's what I like to do. I don't like to starve them out. There was still a little bit of food left in here. So they didn't totally clean it out yet, but they were almost there. So now I'm gonna switch this out. I'm gonna pull these caterpillars into that container down there. Then I will move this sleeve over to another branch and I'll let them get even bigger. So that's phase two. Now you get it. These things are just gonna keep growing. They're just gonna keep getting big and fat. And that's what we want, man. Biggest, fattest, healthier caterpillars means a cool bug man prop and a lot of really beautiful moths. So stay with me, man, because this is gonna get fun. Hey guys, it's Ryan Bridge Bugman. Look, remember the Polyphemus project? Yeah, it's still in full swing and it's going very well. I did make some discoveries. It turns out that the birch tree is absolutely infested with ants. So I'm not getting hit by hornets and wasps. I'm getting hit by ants, which are kind of the same thing, just in this case, maybe worse. Now, it doesn't look like they've killed a lot of my caterpillars. They probably did early on when they were smaller, but those caterpillars are now big enough that they're able to withstand most of the ant attack I think that's going on. I'm not seeing too much mortality going on here. I'm going to bring you out and I want to show you a couple things because remember I told you that it was going to be about another two weeks for these guys to hit fifth instar. That's the new sleeve I put up about a week ago and I can see some big burly caterpillars in there. I got some big guys in there. I also see one right next to a big burly caterpillar. That right there looks like one that got stung by a bee or a hornet and it also may have got fed on by a wheel bug but either way that's a nice big fifth instar caterpillar right there he's probably setting up and priming up to make a cocoon very shortly i took down the other bags that were here i did that because i found out the majority of those caterpillars in those bags were spinning cocoons they bounced from third to fourth and into fifth in star and these guys did it in a week look at this big hog right here beautiful caterpillar but look at how cool these things are such a beast and again these are polyphemus silk moth caterpillars totally harmless they're just a ton of fun to raise and that's what i've been doing check this out these are all cocoons and look at the leaves they went into cocoon so fast that a lot of them ended up down in the bottom of those bags spinning cocoons there's one still in there still spinning its cocoon that's a caterpillar in there still spinning the cocoon how cool is that 
that's pretty neat. They're in there spinning. I got other ones that are all done. But they spun these cocoons so quickly that some of the leaves in some of these bags obviously didn't even get a chance to get eaten. And that's good. That's perfect. That tells me that they were fed and fat and happy. They made their cocoons without going hungry. And that is a ton of good news. I still have this one bag left. One bag of polys left. There's probably 10 or so caterpillars, maybe 15 caterpillars in there, because that's a pretty good sized bag. And that is gonna be awesome. I'm very excited to see these guys getting big and fat. And guess what, man? Big, fat caterpillar poop is known as frass. That is also a good, these bugs are doing awesome. I'm still a little concerned when I see a dead one, but you know what, man? If I've got 15 or so in this bag and I only see one dead one laying in the bottom, I see a couple other things here. It looks like some blew their gut, which is great. Oh, there's a cocoon right there is a cocoon in the bag. That's super cool. So there's cocoons even in that tree. So they're doing the same thing the other ones did. I will probably let this go for another two or three days. Give this big fifth instar that's still in there. Anybody, anybody else that's still in there, I'm gonna give them a chance to go through and make their cocoons. And then we're gonna be all done with the Polyphemus Silk Moth project. So it's 95 out here, super, super hot. I'm gonna give you guys back your day. Take it easy, man. Still working Polyphemus at Bugman headquarters. See ya. We're back here at Bugman headquarters and I took three or four of the nice big fourth and fifth instar polyphemus, one of which I found feeding on the oak tree directly underneath that birch. I actually found him. He was free roaming, but I got two or three other nice big fat polyphemus caterpillars. These are all at least, that one's a late fourth. This one's a nice solid fifth. Look at this guy. Huge, nice and big. And I got them hanging inside. And I like to do this every now and then. I'll do this with some of my caterpillars just so I can watch them go through that last stage. Cause so much happens in the bag and we miss it. And I kind of miss having caterpillars in the house with me where I can watch these things do their thing. So cool. And that'll only take these guys about two or three days. Two or three days and probably every one of these caterpillars will be forming a cocoon. And I run the fan because that simulates wind blowing outside. They'll get some natural sunlight and they will be ecstatic. And if I have happy caterpillars, that means the bug man is very happy as well. Just one more thing going on here at headquarters, guys. Part of the Polyphemus rearing project. Okay, guys, real quick. Just showing you a polyphemus silk moth male. I have a female out in a cage tonight and she's starting to attract the boys. The females emit a pheromone and that pheromone is like a perfume and that perfume brings them in, sometimes from several miles away. So we're gonna move this male back out to that cage right out there where the female is and hopefully he'll hang around and have his way to be with her. I'm gonna put him in the cage with her. So let's take him out there right now. And we're gonna go out here. The female moth is right there. And goofy as that looks, never did get her wings pulled out, but there is. There's also Cecropia in the cage as well. So I'm hoping the Cecropias are flying as well tonight. So let me get through. Let me get this guy in the cage with this female polyphemus and we'll see if they uh, if they hook up. All right, so there's the cages right there. The female Cecropia is hanging right there. Female Promethea is in that cage right there. The male polyphemus is hiding right there under that corner, but he's there. Yes. Oh, there's the male, he's getting active. So what we'll do is give him a minute and we'll see if he finds this female finds a female, I can hope that he's going to go over there and hook up with her other side of that cage. That's a, that's a Promethea that's right there. The female Polyphemus is up in that corner of the cage. You can barely see her. It's actually quite cold out there. So I was really happy to see this male Polyphemus show up. I can't believe they're flying with this cold. It's about 42 out there right now. It's pretty chilly for being mid-May. All right, man, look at this beauty. It's a girl. It's a female polyphemus soap moth. Just came out of the cocoon. 
She must have come out last night because she's got a tiny little bit of damage on those wingtips. So she might have been flopping around in there a little bit last night, but she's so nice. Such cool moths. Let me show you the inside. Look at this moth. Polyphemus are one of the moths that use fake eyeballs in order to try and keep from being eaten by the birds. Check those out. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Such beautiful moths. And this is the culmination, man. Now, I have a bunch more cocoons that are going to be hatching. So she won't be the last one. But for the sake of the video, this is a nice way to end it and show you what the moths look like after seeing them up in those trees as caterpillars. Such beautiful moths. I'll turn her loose tonight because I got plenty more to go. What a cool way to end the Polyphemus project after spending a full summer or most of it playing in the trees with the caterpillars and the cocoons and getting these guys all the way through we're finally finished it's amazing such cool moths all right guys that's it for the Polyphemus project Ryan Bridge Bugman always tons of cool bug fun at Bugman headquarters take it easy guys we'll see you